Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today where we have another Football Manager 2017 experiment for you. Now today we're going to take a look at Leeds United. Uh, we have downloaded the Sort It Outside custom start date tool and we've also downloaded the latest live database update. Uh, we've had to add in a couple of players to Leeds United, uh, Vernon Anita and Samu Says who joined yesterday uh, for 3.5 million euros. Um, but other than that, the squad is pretty much up to date now at this point. We've also sent out Luke Murphy and Louis Coyle on loan deals to Burton and Fleetwood. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and find out what next season has in store for Leeds United. Obviously, this season they were very close to promotion to the Premier League under Gary Monk, who did a fantastic job uh, since taking over there. However, he's now since moved to Middlesbrough and that means that they have a new manager in the shape of Thomas Christiansen who was appointed on the 15th of June. Uh, he previously managed a club in Cyprus called Apoel. Uh, did quite a good job there. So he's pretty much an unknown though as a manager. I mean, he's managed Al Jazeera as an assistant manager. He then managed AEK Larnaca before taking over as Applewell boss, uh, which he did for a year before coming to Leeds United. But this is probably his biggest job to date, really. And it's just going to be interesting to see, with this kind of squad at his disposal, what he can do in the Championship next season. So, first things first, what we're going to do is, as is always the case in my experiments, we're going to skip to the 1st of January 2018 this time and see how Leeds are faring in the Championship at that point. Well, we've got to the 1st of January 2018 for the first part of this experiment and it looks like Leeds are currently sat down in 12th in the Championship at this current stage with 41 points, 13 points off leaders Aston Villa and Birmingham are doing quite well, sat in second on 53 points. The three Midlands clubs sat in the 1-2-3 in the league at the minute. Um, can't remember the last time I've ever seen that really when I've <coughs> simulated this. Um, so here we go then. We have got Leeds United, media prediction 10th, currently sitting in 12th. See if he's made any transfers to date. Nothing has been done so far other than a few outgoings, loans. Kelvin Phillips has gone out to Blackburn. Bailey Peacock, Farrell to Port Vale. And Will Huffer has gone to Gisley. Uh, let's have a look at the squad. So, at the moment, top goal scorer looks like being Stuart Dallas with seven goals from 21 games. And also, Kemar Roof has got six in 16. Not really much in the way of goals at all, really, from new man Samu Saiz. He's only made six assists in 24 games. One man of the match appearance, but no goals yet for him. That's a bit of a concern, considering he's going to be well thought of this season. Um, <clears throat> Chris Wood, five, four in five from ten sub appearances as well. I'm surprised he's not playing more often. Not too sure what, what he's up to there, really, um, Thomas Christensen. So it looks like he's playing... Uh, four at the back with um, Berardi, uh, Ailing, Janssen and Anita. Reedwald in goal. Uh, O'Kane, Bridcut, Klitsch in the middle with Saez and Sarko on the flanks with Kemar Roof leading the line on his own up front. Uh, I think what we'll do now, guys, is we'll skip to the end of the season, somewhere around the 31st of May, something like that, and we'll come back and we'll see if they've made any progress on that 12th position. Uh, but I kind of expect them to be a little bit better than that. But yeah, we'll come back in another five months or so and see what's gone on. Well, we've reached the 31st of May 2018 and it's apparent from the screen directly in front of us that Birmingham City are now a Premier League side once more beating Aston Villa 3-0 in the playoff championship final. Um, that's pretty mental. Wolverhampton look like they've won the title. They have indeed under Nuno Santo. 92 points, really good return that of 46 games. Sunderland goes straight back up with 89 points and Birmingham obviously go up as well. Now, Leeds United finish in 16th position. Now, they were touted to finish in 10th via the media prediction. They were 12th when we joined them on the 1st of January. And they've slipped down to 16th. Now, I was kind of expecting a little bit better from Leeds United here. Thomas Christensen is still the manager. Let's have a look at the transfers, see if he's brought anyone. And again, he hasn't brought anything in. He's lost Liam Bridcut to Hull on the 11th of January. He went out for 2.3, rising to 2.9 million. Uh, but nothing coming in. Let's have a quick look at how the squad's performed. Not much in the way of goals there, really. Chris Wood, top goal scorer in the end with 10 goals from 14 games and 14 sub-appearances. 
Kemar Roof, 9 from 22. Stuart Dallas, 8 from 33. Samu Says, 5 from 38. Seven assists. And, yeah, just not really much in the way of goals there from Leeds. Let's have a look how they're compared to the rest of the um, rest of the league table, really. Let's have a look here in a larger view. So, goals for, they scored 51 goals all season. The Forest got 52. QPR, 50. I mean, obviously, looking down towards the bottom, the likes of Charlton, Burton, Preston, etc., etc., have scored less. But, you know, you'd expect a team like Leeds to be scoring more than that. And they conceded 58. It wasn't like they hadn't spent either. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll do we'll try another season. Uh, we'll come back again on the 1st of January 2019. See if they've done any transfers. See where they are, whereabouts they are in the league. It might just be a case of that first season in English football for Thomas Christiansen was a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a difference for him from the Cypriot leagues and perhaps maybe with a bit of backing from the board, etc. and squad gelling together, they might perform better next season. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip now to the 1st of January 2019 and see if their fortunes fare any better. Okay then everyone, so we are back here on the 1st of January 2019 and it looks like things are getting from bad to worse for Leeds United here. They're currently sat in 20th position, 25 games played, 26 points achieved. They've won seven, drawn five, and lost 13 games so far. Let's go in and have a closer look at what's been going on. So it looks like Walter Zenger has taken over as manager of the club. Let's have a look when that happened. So he joined on the 26th of December. Thomas Christiansen was relieved of his duties, sacked on the 8th of December. Mark Jackson took over for 18 days as caretaker before Walter Zenger came into power uh, he'd have been there roughly around a week have they played any games since he's come in yes they have they've played two games and they've lost them both uh, things aren't looking too good here for Leeds uh, let's have a quick look at the top scorers so far so at the moment Dukara is top scorer with six in seven Kimar Roof with five in 17 five in seven for Chris Wood Samu says 24 games played three goals two assists Stuart Dallas 23, one goal, three assists. They're just not scoring uh, enough here, really, in their games. They, they just don't seem to be able to do it in front uh, of the opposition goal. Uh, let's have a quick look at the kind of tactic they're playing again. And they've they've dropped the two wide midfield players now, and they're playing more central here. So they've still got the four at the back. They've got three in the middle now with Ronaldo Vieira, Phillips and O'Kane. Klitsch now advances into an attacking midfield role with Wood and Dukara up front together. Um, I think that tactic will probably have more success for them than the previous tactic. However, the whole team has got really poor morale now and we're already in January and there's every chance. I mean, you look at the schedule here, guys. There's a lot of losses in there from the start of October. I mean, there's only one, two, three, five wins and one draw and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine defeats. Uh, we're going to skip through again to the 31st of May just to see basically what happens um, by the end of the season. But I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if Leeds United did manage to end up getting relegated here. Um, Burnley currently lead the way in the championship. They obviously got relegated alongside with Newcastle. Aston Villa are bang up there again. Uh, Huddersfield are in the contention as well, along with Hull and Middlesbrough, etc. Uh, let's have a quick look while we're here at the Premier League. Because obviously Birmingham went up with Sunderland and Wolves. And the, those three are in the bottom three here in the Premiership. Uh, still a good portion of games to go in that league. Man United currently leading the way. Bournemouth doing quite well there on 36 points. Uh, currently sat in fourth. That's a really good performance there from Bournemouth. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back on the 31st of May and hopefully we'll see some sort of improvement from Leeds. We'll just Before we do that though, we'll go into the transfer centre or transfer history. And there's been a fair few players going out again this season. 
majority of those on free transfers. Uh, Hadi Sacco has gone to Cardiff for 1.1 million, potentially rising to 1.3. Tumani Diaguraga has gone to AS Nancy for 300k, potentially rising to 400k. And Marcus Antonsen has gone to Reading for 250k, potentially rising to 375k. Coming in is Harry Wilson on loan from Liverpool. Uh, he has played 13 sub appearances in the championship, scoring one goal. Not a bad player. Um, you'd think they'd do better. Yazid Bouali has come in. He's a goalkeeper, bought in quite cheap. No, he's French. Obviously, he's a work in progress uh, with a view to the future. Quite how good he'll be, I'm not too sure. I mean, there's a few stats in there that they need rapid improvement. And Bigger and Bemba from CA Bastia for 2.3k. Again, another um, regen player. 2k or so i think he was bought in for 2.3k i mean again a lot of improvements needed there and he's very much a work in progress for the team and he has a ridiculous looking mustache also so yeah let's skip to the 31st of may anyway progress this on and see what leeds can do i mean so far though i'm very disappointed by this so the 31st of may 2019 then and we're back and we can see immediately that man city have run away with the premier league 94 points from 38 games, winning 30 of them, miles clear of Tottenham, etc. Bournemouth did quite well. They ended up in sixth position. Sunderland, Birmingham and Wolves all get relegated back to the championship. Uh, Hull City beat Middlesbrough in the final of the playoffs. Let's have a look at the league table. And Leeds managed somewhat of a recovery late on under Walter Zenger. They managed to get back up to 14th position with 62 points. I'm pretty sure that was the first amount of points they got uh, last season, uh, 62 points. bit disappointing again. You know, you kind of expect them to do a bit better than what they're doing. And I think it just shows that Thomas Christiansen has his work cut out and that he needs to bring in more players, are they, to be successful. Burnley end up winning the championship with Newcastle in second, with Hull going through in the promotion spot, Sheffield United, Barnsley and Wigan all relegated back down to League One. Now, I think that can pretty much run its course for today's uh, experiment here with this Leeds United in the Championship. We've established that they haven't performed probably as you would expect, given how they performed under Gary Monk last season. I think perhaps they need to look at strengthening the squad, particularly from um, a goal-scoring point of view, uh, although Chris Wood did end up with a, quite a good ratio there along with Dukara. Uh Kimar Roof eleven goals in thirty six games isn't really enough for a striker. Samu says hasn't really scored or provided anywhere near as much as you would expect. Mateus Klitsch has done reasonably well. Other than that really Vernon Anita probably one of the pick of the signings out of everyone. He came in on the free transfer so I think more needs to be done in the transfer window for Leeds United this season if they're to really push for promotion next season. And is Thomas Christiansen the man for the job? Based on this experiment, I'd say probably not. But then again, in the experiment I did for Sunderland with Simon Grayson, he was sacked by Christmas and this time round he managed to get them promoted in second spot. Um, although he has got them relegated again. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this experiment today here with Leeds United. We'll be back again with some more stuff on the channel. We've also got some cricket content coming up as well for those of you that may be interested in that. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, leave a like on the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. But join me again tomorrow when I'll drop the Ross Albastri save, uh, the Stobu career save. Uh, look around the channel for that. There's plenty of good episodes for that. Uh, might tickle your fancy. But yeah, guys, catch you again soon.